Good morning and welcome to Tuesday, the 18th of October and broadcasting from the GEM Studios in Northwest Newcastle. It's NCTV 45 Newswatch and it's straight ahead for you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need a good bite to eat, make sure to check out Los Amigos. They got you covered with things such as tacos, burritos, boca gente, and don't forget the great chips and salsa they put out for you when you get there. Make sure to check out Los Amigos on West State Street, Newcastle, PA, 16101. It's Los Amigos. Los Amigos, Los Amigos, Los Amigos! If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Hello and welcome to Lindy's Lunch. Yes, whether it's their great breakfast or just like it says lunch, it's great anytime. Try their breakfast and you'll be satisfied. A pierogi cheeseburger, an Italian Joe, and smothered hoagies, all. Oh, and don't forget the french fries with chili. Yes, it's Lindy's Lunch for the best. Stop by, give us a call. Big Daddy 316 Transport. For a ride to work, that's fine. Groceries and essentials, pickups, we do them. We all benefit seniors, city, state, stores, employers, and yes, employees. Why get there tired when you can get there alive and energized? Yes, no tricky traffic patterns. We can haul up to five passengers, 24 hour notice required, $5 per stop, call 124-730-3865. Big Daddy 316 Transport. Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle, minutes away from shopping, seconds from a gas station, and let's not forget pastries, a restaurant, and oh yes, the schools. The majestic for that majestic lifestyle, right in the greatest castle, Newcastle. Come by and take a look. If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Well, good morning and happy Tuesday to you, October 18th. And uh, well, if you're just uh, rising at this time, it's pretty cold outside. Uh, currently 39 degrees as uh, a little bit chilly. Uh, we're going to get to more in Lawrence County 45 weather, and uh, I'll just put up that little temperature thing for you, and there you go. Remember, we're on all those different media sources up in the corner of your screen and live on nctv45.com. So uh, you can't beat that. 
and you can't beat the birthday list. So um, without any further ado, here you go. Nicole Miller, Miller, happy birthday. Brooke McCowan, happy birthday. My good friend Floyd Mastron, happy birthday. Laura Alter, happy birthday. Dominic Curry, happy birthday. Jason Smith, happy birthday. Beth Ann DiMuccio, happy birthday. Janae Yearich, happy birthday. Janice Marks, and the last name is a challenge. So I'll just leave it at that. Happy birthday. Bobby Colvert, Lasara Akins, Scott Campbell, Marvin Leiby. Happy birthday. Make sure you get that second piece of birthday cake and um, celebrate all week long. Now, as we get to some of the stuff going on, uh, a little good news, if you would, <coughs> for the folks uh, down at Holy Spirit Parish. You know, they were down to two guys. Uh, it was almost a fast break every time there was an activity. Well, here you go. Some great news over the weekend at all masses, they will be welcoming Father Aaron Chris as Senior Parochial Vicar, November 1st. They thank Bishop Zubik for recognizing the need of Lawrence County. But of course, understand the feeling when a priest has to move. Please send him your love, prayers, to Father Aaron and all, all in those in Guardian Angel Parish in Upper Allegheny County Valley. Uh, we can't meet, wait to meet uh, Father Aaron and uh, good luck. Welcome to Newcastle and Holy Spirit Parish. The first thing he's going to be able to do is get some great food. And, and you know, that's huge. It's the 19th annual Taste of the Town. This is Monday the 24th from 5 to 7 at the New Englander, right outside here, 3009 Wilmington Road, and there's going to be, I don't got to tell you, I've already explained that we have the best food ever, and <coughs> this is just uh, proof in the pudding, if you would, as... Uh, <laughs> I get all choked up when I even start talking about it. Who's going to be there? Crane Room, Al Canelo, uh, Grill on the Hill, Los Amigos, Cocos, uh, Vinte Se Winery, Pizza Joe's, Smoking Dave Barbecue, uh, Subway, <laughs> and more. You, you got to try this. You can get your tickets at United Way. Call Joanne Preston, 656-65000. Or Gal Young, 724-658-8528. She even gives her cell phone, 724-730-0652. And uh, just enjoy. Can't say enough good things about that. <sighs> Now, let's um, take a second. I really want to talk about this. Angelo Papa is doing a substance abuse program. Uh, the 28th, this will be at Newcastle High School. Uh, Newcastle Schools and Angelo Papa are presenting this. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be at the Scottish Rite Cathedral. So let's hear from him and then <coughs> we'll come back. Angelo Pepe here. And I've never ever been more excited to present anything in my entire life as I am the award-winning graduation day DUI crash movie and Elm Reality trial by jury 
teaching method. We're graduates, baby! <laughs> In a moment, it all changed. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Yes, in a moment, it all changed. And, um, you know, it's important that uh, you get and have that talk with your kids. Uh, it's so, so very important. And I can't make it clear enough in today's world, a lot of there, there's a lot less time spent in family time and uh that makes all the difference as um they kids will learn and long to be around you and uh when you don't give them your time it gives others a chance to give them their time and it's not always a great outcome as uh you could see and uh Give Angelo Papa a chance on this one as um, I think he has some very good points and especially an important message in today's world. So uh, I want to make sure that you're on track with that. Now, as we move forward through this, uh, the NOW Project, you know, they do a lot of great work. Jubilee Ministries, Nourishing Others' Well-Being. It's called, that's how you get the word now. Along with Christian Chamber of Commerce of Western Pennsylvania, is sponsoring a drive through food giveaway for up to 1,500 families, and that's Saturday the 29th. Now you're saying, Angelo, that's not this Saturday. Well, I know that. But, Here's the thing. You might know somebody that doesn't want to admit that they're having a problem or that there's an issue. Uh, you know, sometimes bad things just happen. This gives you a chance to tell them and help them out. You know, the location is at Town Mall, uh, Cascade Galleria, Jubilee Ministries and uh, the Now Project will, and the Christian Chamber of Commerce will have boxes of food up to 1,500 families. Each family will receive fresh milk from Marburger Dairy, fresh produce from the Apple Castle, and a variety of seasoned garden fresh produce and nutritious shelf staple items. The boxes will be loaded directly into vehicles by volunteers and will be given on a first come first serve basis. So um, make sure you're there, plan early and distribution starting as early as eight o'clock. Important, hats off to those folks. Now, um, you know, a great, great thing going on here. And I think that my wife was surprised. She went, how do you know about that? Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Tribal Tuesday at Diane's Boutique. That's today. Why not stop in? You know, it's a one-day event, and uh, it's located at 1503 Wilmington Road, and uh, they'll have a uh, one of only 150 specialty shops nationwide selected clothing by the brand Tribal to celebrate and uh, just go there. They're going to have refreshments, giveaways. Uh, Diane, Mary Lynn, Jim, they're all going to be there. And uh, mentioned you heard it on NCTV 45. And uh, just take a look. Tribal is a Canadian-based based clothing brand known for their uh, chic but relaxed approach to everyday apparel 
and designed for women. So uh, each piece is made with attention, detail, premium fabrics to ensure consistency uh, and consistent fit, which delivers pieces in a comfortable for any occasion. Make sure that uh, you stop by. They're doing it in two locations, by the way. For you folks listening up in Sharon, 2944 East State Street in Hermitage. Call Diane's Boutique, 724-654-6799 to get more information. So how about that? As uh, we take a quick gander here at um, some state news, the Department of Human Services announces the improvement to further ensure integrated whole person health care. The Department of Human Services today announced that Pennsylvania's patient provider network, P3N, okay, and the state's Federated Health Information Exchange has successfully transitioned to a modern, efficient cloud-based solution that will improve health care delivery across the state, well, they should say across the Commonwealth, ensuring that providers can deliver whole person care to patients. You know, just don't get hacked, guys. Uh, that, that's my story to you, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> now, uh, also, you know, we've been telling you about this each and every time. So I'm putting the link out. Franchise opportunities available at Coney Island. And um, right there, you can see Coney, MP Coney Island. Uh, you can go to their link. Yeah, okay. And uh, why not take a look at that and uh, kind of get that opportunity. Now, with all of that, it's time to head over to sports. What a game last night, 1916. The Chargers outlast the Broncos. So, I, and you know, I didn't say this yesterday, but I got to say it. My New York Jets won 27 10 over Green Bay. Way to go, Jets. In overtime, Montreal stepped up and beat the Penguins. So, um, a lot of great sports happening. Let's go to the Cedar Sports Corner to find out what's going on today. Good morning. Hope you're having a great one. The Cedar's Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedar's features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner Report. Let's get to opening day in the NBA. Philadelphia at Boston, 7.30. That on TNT. Let's go Celtics. Also at 10, the Lakers take on Golden State. TNT also. Major League Baseball. You, you got a game coming up that's... Uh, Kind of never been expected. As Philadelphia takes on San Diego for the National League Championship <laughs> Series. Who would have thought the Phillies and the Dodgers getting beat? Wow. Over on the ice, it's looking like this for your Tuesday. 
All the games on ESPN Plus, so I'll just cut to that. Seven o'clock games, Vancouver at Columbus, Anaheim at New Jersey, Boston at Ottawa, Philadelphia at Tampa Bay. 7.30, San Jose at the New York Islanders. Nine o'clock, Vegas at Calgary, Buffalo at Edmonton, and the Los Angeles Kings taking on Nashville, that at 9.30. <coughs> so, lots of great action for you. And, uh, well, head over to Cedars. Make sure you get some great food. And by all means, enjoy the games. We're going to take this time out. We'll be Allie's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu. Pizza, roll-ups, salad, soup, sandwiches, strombolis, dinners. They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Allie's Upper Crust. Welcome back, and um, as we continue on with Newswatch, 39 degrees outside, and uh, we're going to uh, bring you Lawrence County 45 weather in a little bit. But first, some more state news. Agriculture Secretary seeks proposal for 200000 in matching grants to boost hemp sales exports. Now, first of all, let's clarify. Hemp is a fiber that they use in construction. And uh, Dawn had a convention on hemp. You can go back and watch it on NCTV 45. Agriculture Secretary Russell Redding called for proposals from nonprofit marketing promotion organizations for projects and amid at increased sales, exports, or consumer awareness of Pennsylvania hemp products, the department plans to award 200000 in matching funds to reimburse it up to half of the project costs with a minimum amount of $1,000. Pennsylvanians have one week to register to vote in the general election. Uh, I remind you that the general election is November 8th. Okay, October 24th. Uh, that's like the cutoff date. So, uh, you know. And please, when you go to the ballot, make an informed choice. Know what you're voting for. And kind of listen to both sides. Just don't. Go on one track. If you listen to both sides, then you're making an informed decision. Agriculture Secretary encourages dairy farmers to manage risks with federal dairy margin coverage. Russell Redding encouraged Pennsylvanians dairy farmers to take advantage of federal risk management protection by enrolling in the USDA's dairy margin coverage program for 2023. <laughs> the USDA Farm Service Agency Financial Safety Net pays dairy farmers when the difference between the price of milk and the average feed price, the margin, falls below an amount selected by producer enrollment. The Department of Corrections introduces virtual reality technology 
to augment programming for incarcerated parents and their children, the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections. Uh, George Little was joined by Anna Hollis, executive director uh, of Amici Pittsburgh, to announce an innovative virtual reality program that leverages technology and community partnerships to promote healthy relationships uh, and engage between incarcerated parents and their children. So, uh, and, and I urge you, there's nothing like spending some real time with your kids. It's very important. Make sure you do that. Now, um, as we continue on with News Watch, it's time to get the Lawrence County 45 weather. Uh, it's getting cold. <laughs> 39 degrees, 73% humidity. Winds are from the west at 14, gusting to 20. The barometric pressure, 29.65, the dew point, 31. We haven't had the barometric pressure for a while. Glad to see it's back. Visibility, 10 miles, and the wind chill. It feels like 31 out there, so you're going to need your coat. Now let's go to Lawrence County 45 weather. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome to Patsy's, your place for great appetizers, salads, wings, pizza, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, and dinners. Yes, dinner specials every week, plus great drinks just to tempt your palate. Patsy's at 207 East Long Avenue, phone number 965-8678. They're open Monday through Saturday. Since you were going for gas, you might as well fill up your tank too. Delicious food available at Morgan's. And that's just two exciting combos that they have. Morgan's right across the line. your palate. You deserve more wings as they have great flavors, more salads, and for dessert, more sinistics. It's Four Star Pizza. We deliver to Easy Clean Car and Van Wash, where your clean wash is our goal. The Crane Room is a restaurant. The Crane Room is a bar. The Crane Room is a banquet facility. The restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room, located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. Hello and welcome to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, after last night's rainy low and snow showers and just everything inclement of 34, how is your Tuesday looking? Well, uh, local radar showing that ground clutter around national scene though a little bit different 
to our west, northwest, there is some colder air and there is precipitation. Not the kind of uh, stuff you hope for. Here you go with your forecast. Last night, 34. So your Tuesday, showers likely, cloudy, 45. Chance of precip, 60%. Now you get to Tuesday night and a uh, little fun begins here. Rain and then snow showers. Low of 34 and a chance of precip 80%. Your Wednesday, 44 as you get up to that. But the rain hangs around at 80% and the showers really before 2 p.m. Now you get to Wednesday night. Keep that fun coming. Rain and snow showers mixing after 1 a.m. And then snow showers, a low of 31. Chance of precipitation, 30%. Uh, not really any kind of, it's going to melt, okay? But you're just going to see it, it coming down. Now, Thursday, we start to warm up a little bit, get up to 50 degrees with some sunny skies. Thursday night, mostly cloudy, low of 33. Then you go into Friday, sunshine and 59. That's going to feel good. Friday night, football, senior night, mostly clear, 41. Your Saturday, sunshine, 67. Saturday night, partly cloudy, low of 43. And your Sunday, sunshine and 69. Now, all in all, not a bad, bad forecast, but you have a couple of days where it's going to be a little bit raw, preparing you for things to come. And these great sponsors, they could do that too. Stop by and see them. Hello, I'm Kay, and Kay is for Kimmel's. If you're in need of great baked goods, Perhaps donuts of every kind, or maybe a lady lock is your desire. Turnovers, and don't forget, they have cakes of every size, quarter sheet cake, or a round one for that special birthday. And never forget to pick up a loaf of bread. It's Kimmel's, home of the delicious, super mouth-watering strudels. Call Kimmel's for the best baked goods. Hi, pizza friends. You can still find delicious Augustine's Pizza at your local supermarket. The folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Today's programming is brought to you by NC TV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Well, <clears throat> we're back and in closing, and I put it in the links so you know. Down at the Confluence tonight from 6 to 7.30, just one. And very important uh, light refreshments will be provided. Just one talks about fentanyl. And you really have to know this. And my good friend Dan Bailey, why... He's going to be there and doing the presenting. Make sure you check out Just One. Check out the links in 
our comment section. We're across all those medias. And uh, just so you know, right there, make sure you take a look. Now, um, with that, I ask you to make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, oh, you know, I don't watch a lot of TV. Why, you tell them this. NCTV 45, the train. Anytime on your time. That's right. We're NCTV 45, the train. We're available anytime on your time. A train that runs on your schedule. Why, that's NCTV 45. Now, as you go through your day, make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. Remember our programming today. We have Catholic Mass. We have the County Commissioner's Meeting. It's all right here on your community television station. That's NCTV 45. Have a great day. We'll see you again real soon.